What's the message you're trying to get out today to the public? We're here today because we want to raise awareness throughout Loveland of the parking garage proposal, not just the proposal itself, but what it will mean to Loveland, what it will cost Loveland financially, how it will destroy the historic charm that Loveland is lucky enough to have, what it might do to the environment. We want to put um, some fire underneath the council to do some studies. I'm Jean Nightingale and I'm representing the Citizens for Rights of the Ohio River Watershed. I'm very concerned that the, about this parking lot. That there's no environmental uh, impact studies done and people, residents, weren't consulted on this program. Now we're in flood. This, the river is in flood. This is in a floodplain. And this, we were really concerned about the climate resilience of this area. Um, most of the people who use the Loveland Trail are environmentalists. This goes right against the grain of what we believe about our environment, saving our environment. And uh, we could build a parking garage another place and walk our bikes to the Loveland uh, Trailhead. We want people to be uh Loveland is a quiet town during a lot of the year. The parking garage will sit virtually empty. And nobody has looked at that. Nobody has done a parking study to see how many places we need, how often we need them. No one's looked at other options. Are there cheaper options, better options? We've developed several options for council to look at. No one's talking about those. But the main thing is the city has not done the research as far as how much parking do you really need? What is the best place? Where? How? There are many other options that cost a lot less money than parking garages, but they haven't done that research and they haven't gotten input from the city. I mean, there's all, it's the city parking garage, so it would be really, really important to know what the city thinks of it. Again, pros and cons, how much money for this method versus another method, but they're not, they haven't done the studies and they haven't invited um, neighborhood impact. So it's really just getting the people informed and um, to have their voices heard. So that's why we're out here today is just to get a petition so people can be informed of this and let the, let the city know what they think about it. Uh, no one's looking at the environmental impact, what it could do to the O'Banion Creek, which it sits right next to, the Little Miami, the pollution, the runoff, the particulates that will go into the river from the garage. Have it a little bit further away so that it doesn't uh, endanger the watershed in this area. From an environmental standpoint also, the heat island effect is very real in the summer. If you have concrete, it, it can be up to 15 degrees hotter than where trees and grass are. I mean, this is such a beautiful city and so many people come to here to enjoy the natural beauty and the bike trail and such. I'm also representing the uh, uh, Women's City Club. They are concerned about the democratic process here that the uh, residents were not consulted. And um, I'm also representing the Sierra Club. They're concerned about the environmental impact studies that were not being done. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources was not consulted and by law they're supposed to uh, appoint an advisory council of local residents to decide on these matters that did not happen. And, and I live in Cincinnati, but I use the Loveland Trail a lot, and I love, I love Loveland. It's a wonderful old historic town. We don't need that big parking garage right smack in the middle. Uh, maybe a little bit further away. If they, I know they need parking in this town because more and more tourists are coming. But uh, I think I think they can have a better decision-making process of deciding just exactly where that parking garage should be. We're asking for council to create a parking committee. Let us let residents look at that uh, look at the problem. Let residents have a say. Do some studies. Get some data and then let residents vote on this. It's the largest municipal project in the history of Loveland. 
and residents should have a vote about whether it should go ahead or not. Good, good gas. Here we are. <laughs>